wise, we, we have a pretty good schedule uh, this year. We go down to Florida and in 10 days we play 13 games. Um, and we play some pretty big name teams. We play University of Florida, who is always nationally ranked. Um, we also play Jacksonville, um, UNF, Drake, Presbyterian, and those are all very good teams. So they should really challenge us early in the season to see uh, what kind of team that we are and, and what we really can respond to and, and the level that we can get to. Um, and then coming back from spring break, we play in two big tournaments. We play at the UMBC tournament and we play at the Delaware State tournament, which are also going to prepare us for, for conference. And then going into conference, our, our first weekend is pretty important. It's our, our first weekend is home, so that's huge. Um, and, and, you know, coming out of that first weekend, 4-0 and is obviously a lot better than 0-4. And, and, and early in the season, we want to win games to make it early or later in the season. So I would think those are, are the key games for us moving into conference. Our team chemistry this year is actually better than ever. Um, we all are best friends. We hang out together on the weekends. We live together. Um, we spend a lot of time practicing together. Um, we actually all are in the library all the time studying together as well. So yeah, we're all best friends. Um, we actually have um, a Peapot initiation this year, which my Peapot, Kelly Kickman and I started. And uh, we've been roommates for four years. Um, this is our senior year. So we did an initiation with the underclassmen so now they all have um, their own key bots as well. So it's kind of a cool thing and a tradition that we started. Offensively, I think we should be pretty strong this year. Uh, we have a lot of our, our big hitters returning. Um, we have Liz Christensen, who is our all-time home run hitter. She's returning for her fifth season, so we expect good things out of her. Um, Aaron Letty, Kat Clifford, they've all been swinging the bat really well. Um, and we're still returning Holly Buckle, who's healthy. We have some freshmen who can swing the bat. Um, and honestly, you know, with our strength and conditioning, everyone's been swinging the bat really hard. Um, so we're really happy with that. And we're fast this year. We should be much faster than, than in the past. So we're going to be ready to aggressively run the bases um, and score some runs. So this year, we've got a lot of leaders on the team. All of our upperclassmen, our juniors and our seniors, playing big roles. And we're keeping the team in order. And we're making sure that everything's ready and we're game ready. And our underclassmen are also playing roles. All of our freshmen who are going to be playing good roles on our field, they're putting their part in. All of our sophomores are really putting their work in. Everyone throughout all of our grades really putting everything they have into this team. We have three pitchers. Um, we have senior Nicole Pagano, who's really a, a redshirt junior. Uh, we have Danny Cummings, who's a sophomore. And we have Haley Stankin, who's also a sophomore. Um, Pitching-wise, it's huge for them to have a good season this year. Um, obviously, our, our conference is a, a heavy-hitting conference, so pitching-wise, we really need to, um, you know, throw strikes, tap batters, um, keep people off base, not walk people. Um, we, we look for big things from Nicole Pagano, who really has the ability to, to shut down any team. Um, and with Danny Cummings and, and Haley Stankin coming back, uh, from their freshman year. They're, they're a year wiser and a year stronger, so we're excited to really see them pitch as well. Well, as always, we have the amazing Nicole Pagano. She's our overpowering pitcher, and she's going to do great as always. And I'm really excited to have Danny back, our lefty sophomore pitcher, and she's going to do great. And then there's me, and I'm really excited to play this year and really um, get at it. This year, our, our team strengths are really different in the past. Defensively, we're very sound. Um, that, that is one good thing, and we have depth in, in pretty much every position, which in the past we really haven't had. Um, we're also, one of our strengths is, is that we are fast. Um, we're going to be fast on the bases, we're going to be fast in the outfield, um, which will help us, you know, create some good plays and, and score some runs. Um, and it, offensively, I, I really think we're strong too. We have some freshmen who are, are going to bring a really good um, aspect to our game, and our upperclassmen, our juniors, our sophomores, everybody's hungry. Um, and, and they're all ready to really um, show everybody what, how talented we are this year. So I'm excited. Um, we have four freshmen that are newcomers to the team, and uh, they get along with us very well. They all fit in. Um, we have two outfielders, Nikki and Megan, and they just add a lot of depth um, to the outfield. Megan's a slapper, so that's awesome for us with a lot of speed. Um, we have um, Marissa Mays at second base, who's great. We have a few other second basemen, and she's challenging and competing with them every day. And we have Rachel Gavigan, who's a stud in the infield, and she's great at any corner or uh, middle infield, and she's got a cannon, and uh, they're all going to do really well this season. The biggest thing that I would like the team to take away from last season um, is the idea that we need to be more consistent. You know, we, need, we would have outings where we would beat 
you know, one of the best teams in the conference, and then we would come back and we would let the pitcher no hit us. So we need to be consistent from game to game, really learn how to play a full seven innings, um, and learn how to stay in that, that attack mode and that mental uh, mind frame that's really going to allow us to, to win close games. This year we're looking to do really well. We're making our conference. We're gonna, we want to win our conference. We're making it to playoffs, and we're looking to have a really good year. We've got all of our kids that are hurt back, and we're healthy, and we're ready to go. Our, our, our biggest goal for this season is to really make our conference playoffs. Um, only four teams make it, so it puts us a little bit more at a disadvantage than, than other sports where more teams make playoffs. Um, so it kind of can be a numbers game towards the end of the season, but if, if we win the games um, that we have to, we should be all right. And expectation-wise, I really expect this team to exceed um, further than any other team that we've had. There's just so many different things that are coming together uh, with the girls, and there's a great um, atmosphere and energy around the girls, and, and they're really excited to hit the field. So at this point, I'm just ready to let them get on the field and, and do what they do best, which is play softball. Um, the goals for, and expectations for our team this year are to really um, stay focused through all two games and win it and hopefully get an NBC championship.